For most of this series of videos, you've had to listen to my voice. So the next few minutes are the voices of our volunteers, some of our volunteers, telling you in their own words why they like to come to Pathways. I came to Pathways uh, to work as a volunteer two and a half years ago after having four years off work and I was getting a bit bored and thought I needed to do something. Um, I, I love animals, I love gardening, horticulture and I've got a lot of experience working in health and social care. So everything came together really. So I looked around the area for care farms, ended up coming to see Jeff at Pathways, just popped in for a chat. He interviewed me and within a week um, everything had gone through, my police check and everything, and I was good to go. Um, since I've been here, I've met some fantastic people. Um, I love supporting people, you know, promoting their independence and their mental health. For me personally, I come to this place and it's so harmonious, it's so peaceful. It's like a different world within a house in the state, you can't describe it. And until you come here, you, you wouldn't appreciate what, what it is like here. Everyone seems to come in, have a lovely day, we all go home happy, looking forward to seeing each other the following week. And it's just positive, positive, that's all I can say really, it's just wonderful. Um, you watch the animals grow, we've had baby goats, we've had baby alpacas, so you watch the animals develop as well. And I always seem to go home feeling that I've given something back to people that need help and support. Yeah, it's great. I come here mainly for the animals, I think they're absolutely lovely um, because my position at the moment I can't have animals at home so coming in to look after these lovely things is what it's all about. I think having access to animals for people is very very important so being able to be involved in providing close contact relationships with people with animals is um, a real pleasure to be able to be involved with. Uh, there's a real uh, kind of grounding you get from being able to care for something else and provide a lovely environment for what they need. So having that um, opportunity to come and care for animals that then help care for other people. Right, um, why I come here is it gives me, oh, I just look forward to it, I really do look forward to it. I come on a Tuesday and a Thursday and also I love seeing the faces of the co-workers after they've been here for the day. Um, I particularly like the animals, I really like doing the animals. I will do the plants and things like that but I like doing the donkeys, um, especially I think because I worked at Red Wings for quite a few years and so uh, I had about 50 donkeys then so having two is a lot easier um, and I love the goats and the chickens and everything so really um, I just get excited when Monday's here because I know Tuesday's coming so especially with the lockdown um, you know it gives you a purpose you feel you know you're doing something rather than keep sitting around <laughs> cleaning the house but uh, yeah I love it here I do love it. You just get into the animals and into everything and it just makes me feel happy, I think. I'm always happy when I'm here, I love it. So that's why I come. <laughs> I'm reliving my youth really. I used to do this when I was a boy and uh, I saw this opportunity to come here and uh, I like being here, I like helping people, get a lot out of it. And to be honest, if I wasn't here, I'd be sat at home doing nothing. So it's a great place to be. I mean, you look around the place and to see it develop as it has, it's been fantastic. I was a support worker before anyway, and but where else better to do it than outside on a care farm? And I, one chap I was supporting at the time, I brought him up here. I saw it for the very first time. I thought I need to get involved because that's where, that's where I belong. Even my nephew at the weekend, he's now got, he's on his fourth or fifth job, the summer job, because he's at uni. And he's now got his favourite job and that's weeding outside and just because it's outside that is the key. We're just, we're just learning all the time here and um, the difference between here and the workplace, people being paid for work, is the difference is people want to be here. I can say 99% I am sure if it wasn't for the farm I'd be back on antidepressants by now and I can honestly say that. People might think um, I've got it all made but you know 
I needed the tablets before then here long ago so um that's and then there was one night recently I wasn't so good I thought I need to get outside I went and sat with the goats and within half an hour it had all gone I went back inside a different person feeling happy again and yeah the animals play a big part but the best part up here which I'm never on can't be on um, the videos what Jeff do or when I shove my friends family around in normal times is the atmosphere the people because they're, they're not on the videos but that is actually the the best part of the farm so why do I volunteer well it's on one hand it's very sim sim simple because I just enjoy being outdoors and a care farm is the place that you can be out outside for most of the day when it's wet and horrible and cold you think twice about that. One of the things that I most enjoy about the farm is that in the three years or so I've been here I've always had a real sense of a vision about the farm, about where it's going to go and I've just enjoyed being part of uh, the, the kind of plan as it is involved and each week I come along here and I wonder what new things I might see and sometimes there, there hasn't been a great deal of change but then there are some weeks I come here and I think wow you know they, they've, uh, they've built some, something or uh, flowers have come out and uh, you know the obvious exa example would be last year two of the goats had had youngsters and to be here the day after they both gave birth, one one of them gave birth to a sing, sing, single goat, the other one gave birth to twins. To see them when they were less than 20, 24 hours old was just such absolute joy. And if I hadn't been a, been a volunteer at the care farm, I would never ever ever experience that. And it's really hard to put into words how it felt to look at those newborns and thinking that you know their mums would be there uh, to support them and, and we would do our own bit ourselves. Now when the plants are in Steve's hands who says that this place hasn't got a fuchsia? <laughs> oh terrible. I'm Steve the Flower, that's my nickname here aka Petal on a good day and the good day is here. I come here because I like community, I like the sense of belonging to community I think that's a strap line here anyway, and I go for that, it's true. So it's involved with care, nurture of people, plants, and animals. I think all of equal importance. A lot of people here are really lovely. Uh, it's, it's good to do something worthwhile, it's helping. It's helping develop people's lives, to, to bring them forward. Lots of people suffer from anxiety. And if you're near plants and animals, a lot of that melts away. We're quite good at distraction too. And the surroundings here are incredibly beautiful. There's 13 acres of beauty just to stroll around in. So that's why I come in. That's why I love it. It's good fun. My name's Dan. Um, I come to the farm quite a bit. I almost live here. I love it. I love the animals because I love animals. And I love the people we have come. I've got amazing friends in the volunteers and amazing friends in the guys that come. I set, sort of set this up with my husband because I did a job which was a, purely a two week job to support a boy with autism and I found my niche, I loved it. So the two week job turned into nine years and I supported a lot of kids with needs, emotional and special. And I loved it. I just loved being with them. I loved making every day special for them and finding ways that they could get the most out of their day. And that's basically what we do here, really. I love being with the guys that come. I love all the challenges that brings up. I like people getting to know about animals and the lovely healing effect animals can have. Dogs and goats are probably my favorite and the guineas. The guineas are amazing. They're stress busters, the guinea pigs. And also just being creative, whether that be out growing vegetables, flowers, or being in this room, which is my creation station. And we come in here and just have fun creating anything and nothing, whatever anybody wants to do. And I also probably have to come because I'm married to Jeff, but that's okay.
Too many vulnerable people around. People with all sorts of problems, with a mental, physical, emotional. People feeling left out, um, just rejected. Some of these people have the chance to come to Pathways and if I can play some small part in, in giving encouragement, um, just encouraging them in their struggles, if I can put a smile on their face and bring out in them some skill that they never realised that they had, um, that just makes my day. Um, it brings me so much joy. Pathways is a place that brings healing and hope and a sense of calm for those who come here. Uh, the people, the place, the animals all work together and it's just a wonderful place to be.